Now I gotta ride or die Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be using this Lampadati for Ceres to create the Di Tommaso Pantera from Fast Five. Now, to be honest, guys, this Viserys is very, very good. And we're not really going to have to change much to make it look like uh, the Di Tommaso Pantera from Fast Five. Because uh, the one from Fast Five is pretty basic. And um, them rims that we've got on the Viserys right now are spot on. They are identical to what we need. So we ain't even going to have to touch the wheels on this build. Well, I thought I'd give it to you anyway, because some people might not even know about this. Some people might have seen Fast Five and seen the Viserys, but not married them up to be the same sort of vehicle. Uh, so I'm going to quickly run you through this very basic build and show you exactly what we need to make it look like the Di Tommaso Pantera from Fast Five. Well, as much as possible anyway. Uh, there are obviously some um, glaring issues when we finish this build, like the wide arches for starters. The Pantera does not have the wide arches. And if you look at the front of the car, it's got like a big bumper, or what I say, or splitter, whatever you'd like to call it, because obviously you've got the front of the car and then it looks like it's got this added part where it comes off the arch. Uh, the Pantera in Fast Five does not have that, uh, but like I said, it doesn't have the wide arches and it doesn't have the wide side skirt on there either, and I don't think we can remove them, unfortunately. But other than that, this car is bang on, man. It is identical, um, with the exception of the hood as well. We also need to change the hood out for a smoothed hood, um, but other than that, it is really, really close. And like I said, these wheels that we've got on the Viserys already are identical to the Pantera from Fast Five. So without any further ado, guys, we're going to crack on with this build. We're going to get the 100% body armor as always. Then we're going to go to the brakes and get the race brakes. Not the stock brakes, race brakes. There we go. Then the front bumper. Like I said before, the Pantera from Fast Five does not have this massive bumper at the bottom. So uh, And there's nothing else that we can get to sort of like remedy that. So uh, we're going to stay stock for the front bumper. Same for the rear bumper. Not really anything worth getting because the Pantera does not have any sort of bumper. It is more like... Actually, yeah, we'll go with the removed, actually, because it doesn't really have any sort of bumper, if I'm looking right. So from taking reference from the pictures that I've looked up, the Pantera does not have a bumper. So we're going to go with a removed rear bumper. Then we've got a chassis option. Um, pretty sure that we're not really going to have to change any of this. It's optional. If you'd like to change the interior of the engine, then you're very welcome to do so um, because I'm not really sure what the engine looks like on the Pantera. I'm going to go with the GT filters, but like I said, guys, it's completely up to you whether you want to change it or not. It makes no difference to this build. Then we're going to go to the engine and grab the level 4 engine upgrade. And the Pantera from Fast 5 is basically the stock version of this, so you don't really need to change anything. But there are some really nice options for this if you'd like to just grab this for service anyways and you know just mod it up there's some very 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 nice options so next we've got the exhaust at the moment we've got that really awesome looking quad exhaust and that's what we need to keep but hopefully we can get something which is a little bit more mean looking which there isn't unfortunately um these look awesome the cannons look really good but um like i said we need the quad exhaust uh, instead of staying stock, we are going to go with a twin chrome. Then we've got a fender option. So, I was hoping that we could remove them, which we can. Oh, nice. Didn't even realise. Didn't even realise we could do that. That is really cool. Um, obviously, it still stays flared. But, to counteract that, I think the wide body kit actually looks really good. And it suits it quite nicely. It kind of rounds that front off a lot nicer than what it did with, obviously the wide arches because the Pantera from Fast Five does not have wide arches, it doesn't have a, doesn't have a wide side skirt, anything like that. But if you go wide body kit, it kind of pulls it all out nice, especially at the front. It kind of smooths it out like it should be. Um, obviously we've still got that massive split at the front of the car, which is unfortunate. But yeah, definitely man, on fenders, wide kit or wide body kit definitely finishes this off and makes it look a lot nicer than what it does with just the flared arches. So yeah, that's the one I'm going to go with for the fenders. For the hood, hopefully we can smooth this out. And it doesn't look like we can. Damn it. That's a shame, man. Because the Pantera does have a smoothed hood. That's a real shame that we can't do that. 
Um, so I'm just going to go with a single vent. I think it's you know it simplifies it a little bit more than what this is. So I'm going to go single vent. And then we've got the light option. We're going to go into headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Then for the respray, we're going to go primary color into we're going to go metallic maybe metallic black. That looks pretty cool. Or maybe the classic black. They kind of look the same, don't they? To be fair. I'm going to go metallic black anyway, why the hell not? So metallic black for the primary and the secondary, not sure what it's going to change, but we are going to go metallic black with that as well. Uh, it's just the wing mirrors, so yeah, we're going to go metallic black for the secondary colour also. And then we come to the trim option, and from all the images that I've looked up and found, I can't really find a clear indication on what colour the trim is on the inside. Uh, so the colour we've got at the moment looks awesome, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. So then that brings us down to skirts. I wasn't expecting an option for skirts, to be fair. Um, we don't want them. It looks awesome, just the wide kit. It kind of fills it out really nicely. So yeah, we've got to stay stocked for the skirts. Same goes for the spoiler. The Pantera does not have a spoiler, so we're going to stay stocked for that. Suspension. This car looks really low as it is, to be fair. Um, oh, it's because it's on sports suspension. Why the fuck's it on sports suspension? That's weird. I must have spawned it in with, with uh, sports suspension already installed how strange because i'm on pc i al always spawn these vehicles in from the trainer menu um so i must have sports suspension already enabled or something so it's already automatically applied it um but i think sports suspension looks good i was going to say if this is the stock state of it then to leave it but as a sports suspension and i think it looks pretty low um, I think that looks awesome. So we're going to say Sport for the suspension. Transmission, we are going to get the race transmission. Then we're going to go to the turbo and grab the turbo tuning. And like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, the wheels are on point. They are identical to what we need. So we are not changing the wheels. Then we're going to go to the windows and purchase the light smoke window tent to finish off. And there we go. There we have it, my dudes. As you pull out of LS Customs, you'll see this for service has been transformed into the Tommaso Pantera from Fast Five. And like I said, man, this build is very, very simple, but very, very effective. This looks awesome. I absolutely love this car. With that wide body on it, oh my God, it just finishes it off so nicely. Um, it is a shame that we can't get a completely smoothed hood, um, but the single vent does a decent job it does a lot of, a lot better job than what the the dual hood did or the dual vented hood did um this simplifies it a little bit more in my opinion i think it looks awesome and that wide body kit man it completely transforms the car it takes away the wide arches well it doesn't take away the wide arches but you know what i mean where it, where the wide arches were really obvious uh it's taken that away smoothed it all out it just makes it look that little bit more or that much more like a Pantera from Fast Five, and I think it looks awesome. The wheels are on point. It just looks identical. So close. I mean, like I said, if you guys have never married these two up, the Pantera and the Faceras before, this video is obviously going to come in handy to you. Especially if you're a Fast and the Furious fan and you've never really seen the resemblance, this is obviously going to be a good help. And if you're going to be building that Fast Five garage, hopefully this video has helped you out. So on that note, I am going to end the video right there. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did enjoy it, please smash that like button. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.